In this video, we will look at how you can create your own custom subdomain that comes within a project. I'll create a new project, a website, and by default in a new workspace, if it's the first project, it will get the name project number one. Let's just rename this and we call this subdomain demo. And now if I select here the preview on the front, you will see that it generates a URL with a fruit and a number dot my site builder dot live, which is the free extension. This is a random assignment for you, which you can change using the free subdomains. This extension at the end will always be there. Let's close it out. And now we go and click on publish, select subdomain, and then choose here my own subdomain. And note that the extension at the end is locked in. We click on submit. And if the subdomain isn't taken, you will get the green success bar at the top. Now, when I view it on the front end, you will see that it updates to the my own subdomain dot my site builder dot live. If at another time you are not satisfied with that subdomain, you can go again to publish, click choose on subdomain and change it out. Thank you.